All right, so um, I hope everybody can see my screen. Uh, my talk is about entrepreneurship is an extreme sport. Uh, my name is Wayne, I'm serial co-founder. Uh, recently, Xtrax closed a 17 million pre-A. Before that, uh, I was CEO and co-founder of Amorize, which was very successfully acquired by Proofpoint. Uh, Proofpoint's listed on NASDAQ and headquartered in Sunnyvale. Uh, this photo was me uh, on the trek in the Alps and the big holes and the little holes you see there are the crevasses. And uh, if we happen to fall into one of them, it, it, it could uh, kill ourselves. So as a serial entrepreneur, I'm often asked uh, these questions by fellow entrepreneurs, how to pick co-founders or who is suitable to be an entrepreneur. And so today I like to talk about entrepreneurship like an extreme sport. Uh, in Zero to One, Peter Thiel wrote, the biggest secret in venture capital is that the best investment in the successful fund equals or outperforms the entire rest of the fund combined. This implies two very strange rules for VCs. First, only invest in companies that have the potential to return the value of the entire fund. And the second rule is there's no second rule, right? So what does this say to us if, as entrepreneurs, if we want to take VC money? Well, if you want to become a VC-backed entrepreneur, your goal won't, to be, uh, won't be to build a profitable small-medium business because that's not going to make the 30x to 100x to 1,000x return that these VCs are looking for. Your goal will, to, will be to build a highly scalable business, solving critical pain points in huge markets. You try to be the 1% of VC-backed companies that survive, and most likely you will fail. And this, uh, I took this photo out of my camp in Aconcagua. It was uh, almost 6,000 uh, 6, meters in altitude. And on that uh, particular expedition, we had to turn back. Uh, we weren't able to summit because of a, uh, a snowstorm. And here is a sad photo of a sad family. Um, the mother was, was upset. Uh, she was holding her newborn baby. And it was a Seattle Times article titled, A Long Night Waiting for the Phone to Ring. It was during Ed Vester's third attempt to summit Annapurna, his last of the 14 8,000ers. Ed Vester is the first American to summit all of the world's 14 8,000ers. And it was his third attempt on Annapurna. He was not in touch. Uh, and uh, it's long past the time when he should have returned to, ba uh, to base camp. So... Here, quote, Pola, his wife, assuming he makes it safely back to base camp, the Vester's family will be able to close a stressful life chapter. And here is a worried family, a very worried wife, and it is not a normal lifestyle. And it doesn't, it didn't look at that time like a happy lifestyle, at least for his family. So I like to talk about mountaineering. Many people feel it's a very selfish sport, especially when you have kids. Many top athletes die every year. And this year, some of my favorite, favorite athletes died on K2. And even just going to the toilet on when you're above 6,000 meters is a monumental task. So why do mountaineers do it when after you summit, you don't even get credibility and sometimes you get criticized? for doing this, for having done it in the first place, because it is very selfish for your families, at least. Why do mountaineers do it? Because they've been training for years and because they are confident of their skills, because they feel they can do it. And because they love the risks, the challenges and the tough work. And uh, it's not a normal lifestyle. I would also say very often, it's not a very healthy lifestyle. 
So finally, what does it take to be a VC-backed entrepreneur? I feel you must love the climb, not the summit. So let me elaborate. It cannot be that you're feeling that, hey, I'll finally relax once we found part market fit. Or I'll finally feel good once we're profitable. Or my stress will finally be gone once we've exited. Because if, you, if this is how you feel, then my guess is you're going to have a very hor horrible life as an entrepreneur. You must do it for the climb itself. You must love the climb. And that's why, like all the mountaineers, right after you summit, you go to your next climb. Because the goal is not to summit. The goal is to prove yourself, to prove your skills, to prove that you can do it and to climb. And you are so confident that you have all the skills to be that surviving 1% of these species portfolios. And you know, you're doing extreme sports. And that's a, a photo of me on a lovely trek uh, in the Alps. Thank you very much for your time.